Experiments, the bread and butter of biology. But do any of the experiments that we get shown and forced to do in our school classrooms have any relevance in the cutting edge world of proper scientific research? Well, we're here at the University of Birmingham's School of Biosciences to find out. One experiment we may all be familiar with is using a microscope like this to identify the stages of mitosis, the cell division involved in growth and repair, in something like an onion root. Here at Birmingham, we're using an almost identical process to examine another form of cell division called meiosis in this, the model organism Arabidopsis thaliana. But, safety first. And so, I've got my lab coat on, safety specs, nitrile gloves, and here I've got some Arabidopsis flower buds that I fixed earlier in three parts ethanol to one part acetic acid. Using a pair of fine forceps, I'm going to transfer some fixed buds into an enzyme solution. What this is going to do is it's going to help to digest that cellulose cell wall surrounding our plant cells. Now, if we were doing this with onion roots, we could use hydrochloric acid at this stage. And so once our buds have been digesting for the desired amount of time, we can take them out of our enzyme solution, again using a pair of fine forceps and place them on a slide. Then using either a mounted needle or a brass rod, we can gently macerate our tissue to break it up. Now this just breaks up the tissue into individual cells that we'll be able to see down the microscope. Before we can see our cells, we need to stain them. Now we're going to stain ours with a chemical called 4,6-diamidino-2-phenylindole, or DAPI for short. Now what that will do is it'll bind to the DNA inside our cells so that we can see them under fluorescent light. Here's a top tip to apply our stain and mount our cover slip simultaneously. I find it easiest to put my cover slip on the edge of the lab bench and apply a drop of stain. Then I take my slide, flip it upside down and gently lower it onto the cover slip. I can then gently blot off any excess on a piece of paper towel. And voila, we have one mounted slide that should hopefully contain some cells undergoing meiosis. And so here we're using a slightly fancier microscope than we might find in most schools, but the principles of magnification are exactly the same. So if we have a 10 times eyepiece and a 20 times objective, this gives us a total magnification of 200 times. Now with this microscope, we're using a particular wavelength of light to illuminate our sample. We also have a camera attached to this microscope which allows us to record our results, but if we were doing this in the classroom, we may need to draw what we see in order to record our results. We can use similar processes to generate multicolour images that are stained with fluorescent antibodies to help us to understand how meiosis is controlled and progresses in plants. By understanding how meiosis works in plants, this could help us to improve current plant breeding technologies which could play an important role in helping to feed Earth's ever-expanding population.